Million Dollar Habits. That's the title of this video. Habits that can make you millions of dollars. Uh, that's, uh, I've got some great things to say about this, but just for watching this video, you're going to get uh, my Network Marketing Success book, which is different than any book you've ever seen on network marketing. Uh, this is going to show you um, the good, the bad, and the ugly about network marketing, where most books on network marketing just tell you everything that's good. Uh, aren't you tired of that? Don't you want to know the whole truth about network marketing? Well, you can get this book on Amazon.com, uh, the hardcover, or you can get the digital copy by going to heytj.net, or clicking the link on this page. Uh, just as an ethical bribe, I'll show you some, an opportunity that I've, I would like to interest you in, but there's no cost, no obligation. The book is yours free. Now, let's talk about Million Dollar Habits. That is a title of a, an old book by Robert Ringer. You can, I don't know if it's still in print. Uh, 1990, I think he wrote this book, Million Dollar Habits, but it's a great book. I would recommend it. If you can find it on the internet, uh, do so. Uh, that book helped me a lot, but see, it all breaks down to habits. I've got a good friend of mine that one time he said, you know, TJ, I don't know how you get everything done. And of course, my joke to him was, well, I don't get everything done. <laughs> I mean, that's my, that was my joke. But I'm always working on three, four projects at once, sometimes five, and just doing a little bit, pacing myself. I get up very early every morning, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm walking the dog, and I'm out here working, and and I've got these habits that I've developed. Um, you can tell this is this is my big creative laboratory right here. A lot of people get a kick out of this place. Uh, yes, I. Uh, if it wasn't for all the shelves back here, look at all the shelves. This used to be a factory, by the way. Uh, the poor people that used to work here. Factory work sucks. But um, every, every day is a gold brick you got to see it for what it is. I work seven days a week, but I pace myself. I push myself. I have different things that I work on on the weekends than during the weekdays when my staff is working. Um, I've, I've always got four or five projects going on, but I allow plenty of time for exercise. Um, you know, I try to swim twice a day, and uh, I, I do habits. You see, that's the whole thing. That's what it all boils down to the right habits. Uh, taking full responsibility for your own success, having projects you're working on every day, every day trying to get something done that leads you closer to the direction of your dreams. No advice is better than that. Every day, don't let your head hit the pillow at night without moving forward somehow. And that can just be ideas that you're working on. You know, I've got I've got all these projects, and I'm and they're they're all like um, percolating, so to say, on 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 the stove. And, um, you know, you're, you're always looking to try to get, get things done. Otherwise, you just got a lot of projects and nothing ever happens. So, you know, you got to pay the bills. Uh, the money that you want to make next month or next quarter or next year comes from all the ideas that you're working on today. It's all evolutionary. But if you study the lives of the people that make the most money, you'll see that they've all developed solid work ethics. And they know how to take charge because the good news about being self-employed is you're your own boss. You can do whatever the hell you want to do, including nothing. And that's what a lot of people do. I mean, they do absolutely nothing. The good news about being self-employed is you're your own boss. The bad news about being self-employed is, well, hey, you're your own boss. You can do whatever you want to do. And therein lies a big part of the reason why so many people fail. They just don't develop those million-dollar habits. Always have many different projects you're working on. That keeps your life interesting and stimulating. But set those tight deadlines and try to get something done every day that moves you forward in the direction of your dreams. Have plenty of time uh, to pace yourself, but push yourself. Uh, when you get older, like me, um, senior citizen, um, you have to... You have to pace yourself a lot, but but focus is very important. So um, that's that's where that's where um, you know having some infrastructure, having having commitments that you have to make uh, every month, uh, money wise and stuff like that. So um, I hope something I've said has helped you. Every day you've got to move forward in the direction of your dreams. Realize that 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 success is just basically developing certain habits, taking full responsibility 
uh, for um, for uh, you know the the projects you're working on and and trying to get something done every day that moves you closer to, in the direction of your dreams and taking good care of yourself physically that's become so important when you get old like me hey look I hope something I've said here has helped it's all about habits um, just developing the right habits pay every day is a gold brick remember that um, try to try to do something today that sets you into, you know, that can be a habit for tomorrow. I get up at 4.30, 5 o'clock every morning and go to work. I'm working till at nighttime, but I'm pacing myself in, in between. Hey, get my book. I've got some great joint venture business opportunities to tell you about. This book reveals the good, the bad, and the ugly about network marketing. It's yours free, plus a special surprise that will blow you away. Go to heytj.net, H-E-Y-T-J.net. No cost, no obligation. And uh, or click on the link on this page and strive to develop those million dollar habits. Uh, there's nothing that's uh, the, the, the people that make the most money, there's nothing really that much different about them except for the habits that they've developed over a period of time. So I hope something I've said here has made a difference. If not, watch one of my other videos. No, <laughs> thank you for thank you. I hope to meet you in person. Maybe we can make a lot of money together potentially. So get my free book. No cost, no obligation as an ethical bribe. Thank you and bye for now.